So when you look at it, the first thing you need to know is those four arteries that come and feed this garden, right? And the neurons are like roses. You, you get what you get. You're not really growing neurons. There's a mild exception with stem cells. And then there's all the supporting cells, what I call like shrubs, like astrocytes. Like you want to keep that garden irrigated. You sprinkle the lawn, right? You got to sprinkle blood to that flesh because that activity in those neurons is relying on the glucose coming up. Mm. And the glucose is the fuel to keep those little molecular jellyfish alive. Mm -hmm. So people say, well, what do, what do I do to keep my brain sharp? Well, keep those arteries open. How do you keep those arteries open? You know that. Take the Lipitor, walk, exercise. That's not just to look good. It's to keep the main arteries and all those fine branching arteries going into those crevices open. Because if you start losing swaths of brain tissue, you're going to have issues. Not always. But that's the first thing is... Heart health is also brain health. That's the easiest thing, okay? Number two is what you eat. Not, not today or tomorrow, but over a decade. And this is well established. This isn't like one study. Globally, the Mediterranean diet, which is mostly plants, fatty fish, beans, nuts, those people, if you just look at like thousands and thousands over a decade or two, they have lower rates of dementia. And that's the only difference that they're having.